Wait, is this eyelash falling off? <laughs> I told you guys, I'm still learning, so I... My channel. For those of you joining for the very first time, my name is Eltavis and this is Makeup Hues and Views. Now, it seems like just yesterday I released the October 2019 unboxing of my BoxyCharm video, and here I am with the November one. Now, I want to let you guys know that this November box came while I was filming the unboxing for the October. And I feel this is important to let you know because that means that. Whatever is in my November base box for BoxyCharm, you cannot say that BoxyCharm either worked it positively or negatively based on my video. Because, well, first of all, they're probably not watching it. <laughs> and secondly, this was already in transit. This was set to arrive. It arrived on Friday. This is Saturday um, afternoon that I'm taping. So there is nothing. Whatever is in this box is just random whatever happens to be in this box. Okay, with that, with that stated, let's go ahead and get started. Now I happen to have variation number six and in variation number six is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Eyeshadow Palette that retails for $35. This is reason number one that I joined back with BoxyCharm. I am very excited that now they are having their, what I, I call the main event, the headliner featured in all boxes across the board. So the Celestial Thunder Dominique Cosmetics is in every base boxy charm for, for November 2019, and it is beautiful. Now, I've already swatched this a little today and played with it, and these colors are wonderful it is a good formula it's very pigmented if you want to see me do a try on afterwards after I unbox that's that's what I'm gonna do that's why I only have on my foundation and my eyebrows so next after that is the I can't get over this you guys this is the Kypris antioxidant dew quench and glow serum you guys this retails for $90 and it also is a BoxyCharm exclusive. Open and smell. It smells so heavenly, so light. And it is, it retails for $90, you guys. I can't believe that. That is amazing to me. Wow. Even with next, now this is not a, a surprise to me. This was a spoiler um, that... When I got my email letting me know that my box was on in the way, this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Charm. Can't wait to get in here and try this on. I'm just going to show this to you right now. It's kind of got a rose red color. So, and that is an exclusive one that Dose of Colors did just for BoxyCharm. And that retails for $18. Last... Almost last. Hmm. Let's do this first. Because I'm a little nervous about this. I have to figure out if I'm going to try these on as well. These are beautiful eyelashes. This, these are Lily Lashes. It is also a BoxyCharm exclusive. And the style is CEO. Here we go. I am going to try these on, you guys. Anyone who knows me, though, and my videos knows that I am a big magnetic eyeliner eyelash person. These are not. These are traditional false eyelashes that need eyelash glue so this will be fun <laughs> let's see how this goes okay and last but not least and I understand some people are a little nervous but I am not I'm very excited because I love her. I'm already ripping them open before I'm even finished talking this is the two brush set from BoxyCharm for BoxyCharm and you guys look at how dense it just it's hard to see because this is a black brush they're very dense bristles and so I'm very pleased with this. Let me see, does it say anywhere in here? It's a two-piece brush set. Um, the large one, multi, is perfect for liquids, creams, powders, or mineral products. And the foundation brush has an oval base to help with precise foundation placement. So these are very dense brushes that you can use for basically doing your foundation, your powders, your creams, whatever. So 
and they're heavy you guys these are heavy these are good yes I know some people are concerned that BoxyCharm is doing in-house. I saw these brushes and I was not concerned. I was like, those look like quality. They look like quality. Look at how nicely cut they are. Just very even, very dense. I like that, especially for your foundation. You want a nicely packed brush. So those are the items. And um, I'm sure that some of you are watching this right now and you're like, um, who is this person on my screen? What happened to Altavis? Well, this Altavis is the same Altavis that did the October 2019 unboxing. If you want to see that video, I am going to include a link down below in the video description. I may include a link above in the video description, but only if you promise to stay here to finish this video first, okay? I was not, and I'm still not happy with the October 2019 BoxyCharm. I have contacted customer service. That was weird, and I'm still not pleased yet. I have still this is the 2.0 and anyone who knows makeup hues and views this channel the point of this channel is to highlight each and every one of us that no matter what hue you are whether you are the fairest fairest to the dip, deepest reach rich mahogany everything in between cool undertone neutral undertone warm undertone regardless of age gender whatever each of us is unique. Any of us who loves to do makeup, I'm here to highlight companies and products that embrace and celebrate that. So I appreciate that BoxyCharm is doing, making sure everyone gets the main event palette because no one should have a purchase with a beauty product and feel like you're being left out. That is the worst feeling. And remember that you beauty companies, if anyone's listening, we buy beauty products based on how it helps us to feel. And do you really want your customers to feel bad? No. So the second reason that I am so excited, I am so excited and please, I just pray that this goes well, because if it doesn't, that will be a big setback for all beauty subscription boxes, because I hope that other ones can pick up on this as well. BoxyCharm is with this first 2.0 base box, they are doing foundation or concealer customization. Now I received the pretty vulgar lightweight concealer card and it has four colors. I'm gonna show you guys. I was kind of playing with them before and to be honest, I could care which color I get in concealer. Mm -hmm. I'll explain in a moment because I'm gonna try them on. That's the other reason I don't have any other makeup. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow, my lip, and then these. I use, here we go, let me see if I can get them in such a way so you guys can see, but I use concealer not just to conceal, I actually use it to highlight and to contour my face. I think it looks more natural than just going and using some bronzer or highlighter powder and trying to just kind of strike those on. I've really gotten comfortable using different shades of concealers. So I try to go to a couple shades deeper than my skin tone and I swing two or three or four or even more shades lighter than my skin tone. And you'll see why in a moment. So here are the different swatches here, colors. Like I said, I did start opening and playing around with these already because they are for us to sample and swatch. There's two and here's the other two, okay? This is a step in the right direction. In my mind, this is a step in the right direction. I'm curious to see about the foundations, the range. Please, any of you who have received your November box and have received foundation swatches instead, let me know in the comments below what type of foundations you received, how close of a match they were, or if you felt they didn't have either your undertone or it was just too dark, too light, too whatever, just not doable. Or if it's just great, it's good choices, let me know. But with concealer, it's not so much the big deal for me. So. That is the unboxing card. I'm very pleased with that. If you want to see me try on these products and do an eye makeup full face look, stick around, okay? So to get into this, first of all, I forgot to bring back something to hold my hair back, but I already put on my foundation. And when I do foundation, those of us who I would say anyone tan and darker would need to go and try to match your neck instead of your face. Actually, I don't know. I would think that anyone with foundation it's a good idea when you're trying to do the tone to try to match your neck area here instead of 
just your face because you don't want to have that that look and even when you try to blend it it's just not going to look right if you have that you know what i'm saying that mask effect because your foundation is totally different shade now that's what works very well with a full coverage and that's what i'm wearing i'm wearing a full coverage foundation of my own because i did not get foundation i received samples for concealer however with the full coverage foundation it kind of takes away from the dimension and shape of my face now i am kind of old school in this i know there may be different shapes or whatever but the idea that how i was taught was that you want to highlight your face in such a way that it as close as possible resembles more of a i'd say of a diamond or even a kind of pointed heart effect okay you want to highlight here here and here so kind of well, like this but more <laughs> if that makes sense so because and then also where the light naturally shines you've got your cheekbones you've got your 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 forehead your nose your chin and then back here down below and over here it shouldn't shine as much there so in here let me show you regardless of whatever complexion you are you can take different shades of concealers and do this for your contouring so in this case i'm very fortunate that this is going to be a couple shades too deep for me to use as a foundation but would be great for a concealer for what i'm doing now i've got a mirror over here that you guys can't see but i'll be looking at that every so often what i'm going to do is take some of this and i'm not going to try and do the streak line no i'm going to actually kind of i'm going to make sure what i'm going to do is i want to make my cheekbone highlighted which means that i want to make this a little bit darker right below my cheekbone naturally no stripes here you guys no stripes don't do that do not do that put your finger down if you do about to i see you do it don't do it promise you're not going to do a stripe okay <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and i kind of naturally have where my literally my cheekbone is and i'm just going to go below it and in the area around it that under part and then i'm going to go back towards my ears too and actually i'm going to use my new boxy charm brush and see how this works here you guys i'm just patting this in and it shouldn't be too noticeable. You know, this is just the best color for me. I think that's a great shade for using a concealer for what I'm doing. I'm actually deliberately trying to make this area darker. I actually could go a couple shades more dark, which is fortunate. I do happen to have my cover of FX face palette that I received from BoxyCharm a few months ago. When there was so I'm going to use the contour color that's in here and I'm going to add that in as well. And you can see just a little bit, you can see a little bit of color coming in. When you contour, you never want to go past the side of your eye. If you start going in forward anymore, your face is going to look sunken and you're going to look just sallow and just old. And it's not a good look. It's not a good look, trust me. It's not a good look. You can try at home. If you're not listening, that's fine. I'm telling you, it's not a good look. And do my other cheek as well I to let this sit a little i didn't do it this last time i'm let it sit a little so it's thicker and so it doesn't wipe off as quickly that's the point i'm trying to do it that way i'm also going to go up here and i'm kind of this i am going kind of like a line because i kind of want to cut off part of where the light usually would not be where it would be a shadow right Using another brush to kind of sweep that out because, yeah, to make that look a little bit more natural. So I used the concealer and then I topped it with some powder on top. Do that as well as this side. I like this brush. You guys, I'm very pleased with it so far. Next thing I'm going to use is the lightest color in here. And I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow primer. Okay. Yes, there are some very nice eyeshadow primers out there. To be honest, if I wasn't just trying to work as much as possible out of my box, I would take just a dab of another eyeshadow primer and then go in with this. But what I'm going to do now, you guys, is I'm deliberately, purposely making this much lighter because I want my colors to pop. And I suggest this for anybody, anybody, to go in and 
even if you have very light eyelids already, this is going to give you a good even eyelid color all the way. And the consistency of a concealer is different from a foundation in that it's a little thicker and it's got a tackiness to it. Now, usually people come in afterwards and add powder. There's always that rule, liquid and then powder. No, not with your primer. Listen, listen. I watched a Jeffree Star video once and I've done it ever since and I agree with him on this. You want that tackiness. You don't want to overcoat your eyeshadow, your eyelid with too much primer or concealer, but you want that tackiness there. I'm just, this time I don't have primer on, I just literally just have this extremely light concealer. This is not an accident. This isn't because it was in here. It's the lightest shade. No, I, I purposely wanted the light one because it's going to make the colors pop. Think about it. It is so much easier to get colors to pop on a white sheet of paper than it is on a different color sheet of paper, right? So I can also take this. This is the middle shade of the four and just a little, just a little, you guys, just a little bit of it. I'm gonna put it, I literally, and I don't buy different concealers. I literally will, when I order something, take and order the samples that they give you and make sure I get the concealer samples of all different shades. So that's how I'm able to do this. I don't go to the store and buy my foundation and then get four, three or four different shades of concealer. No, that's not what works. If I have a foundation, Mist setting face powder that I received a couple months ago from BoxyCharm to just kind of set that in there. And why don't I go ahead and use this big, the big brush from the toothbrush set. And that's how I, this powder is amazing. The last couple of videos, I did not use the powder. And as someone noted, I was getting some flashback. This powder Yay. is really, okay. These are so pretty. This is so pretty, you guys. These are so beautiful. Brush. Okay, I'm going to start with the color in the corner over here, Lucid Dreams. Lucid Dreams is a bright fuchsia color, right? I never do a windshield when I do my crease. I don't do the up, down. I call it a windshield because you're going back and forth, like a windshield. I never do that because I have hooded eyes. I do more of my nose here. I go like this, and then I stop. I don't go all the way down. I never do that. Because your hooded eyes kind of can have a tendency to droop anyway. Actually, I don't recommend that for anyone, but especially if you have hooded eyes. I love the pigment, you guys. This is so pigment. You do not need much. And it doesn't have very much fallout either. For a matte, these shades do not have much fallout. This is a fun, that's the best way I can describe it. This is a fun eyeshadow palette. This is just a palette that you can use just, just to play with, you know? Now, when I do get to the sides, I like to kind of almost do more of it upwards, if that makes sense. I go start near the corner and then I go up and out. It's to give the impression of lifting my eyes. Brush. So I'm just gonna wipe that off because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go in with black matter right there matter tapping it again just lightly tapping it typing it off and I'm gonna go right into the corner and I'm just I'm not blending or anything I'm just tapping because I'm getting the color in there that's all I'm doing I don't want too much of a purple so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to apply lunar eclipse now I'm going to take a blending brush which is going to be looser and I know I have this brush here okay this is much looser it's not as densely packed you see how those bristles just come right off there no problem I'm gonna take a little fireball just a little just a little and help blend that in a little now I'm going to go in And use eternal light right there to do my eye 
lids. This is such a pigmented eye. Wow. It literally, it's like stars just sparkling off your eyes. I, <sighs> that sounds corny, but it, it's really, it's really pretty. I'm going to take a little eternal light, a little fireball, and go right up here. under my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to do the Lily Lashes. <laughs> Pray for me, you guys. Actually, no, 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 no. One more thing to balance this out. I'm going to take a thin yet dense brush. I'm going to take some of the black matter, a little from the corner of Lucid Dream, and I'm going to put this under my eye in a way as if it's an eye, as if it was eyeliner. Look up. Wish me luck, guys. I'm going to go and I'm attempting to put on false eyelashes using eyeliner. I'm sorry, using blue instead of my magnetic eyeliner that I like to use. So wish me luck on this adventure here. Looking around. I want you guys to know I'm doing this because I love y'all. And I want you guys to see the full effect. to line my lower lid and apply mascara and then we'll come back for lips and cheek. The Dose of Colors Lip Liquid Lip Matte. It is pretty red so what I'm going to do first is use from the Steve Laurent lip pencil we received a couple months ago on BoxyCharm. I'm going to apply that first to help mute it down. The thing I like most about the Dose of Colors formula is it feels very moisturizing and rich, like a moisturizing, what I would call a bullet lipstick, you know, a tube lipstick, but it's going to dry into a matte and it still does not have that drying effect. It feels like I'm wearing lipstick. It lasts a very long time. I'm very pleased with it. So that is me unboxing the November 2019 Boxy Charm variation number six and doing a try on. I don't know if this eyelash is staying. I hope it is. I would say that I, of course, would need to trim some of the width of these and then the length for my eyes a little bit, but I do like the handmade and the quality of the Lily Lashes. Um, I really enjoyed using the concealers, as you could tell. I love my dose of colors. This is so pigmented, you guys. If they just offer this in the store on sale, I don't know if they already have it just in the stores or if this was released for BoxyCharm first, this is a very pigmented, rich, fun eyeshadow palette to play with. So I have yet to try the serum. You guys saw how dense. I love these brushes. They're very dense, very good quality, not cheap feeling at all. They're so soft. They are so soft, you guys. So overall, I definitely like the box that I received. I have seen some other unboxings where they did not get the brushes. That's very disappointing. So I hope that that can be fixed through BoxyCharm as well. I've still got my eyes on you, BoxyCharm. I still got my eyes on you. So this was a good base box. I mean, this is a base box and I'm very, very and pleased with it. Again, I did a three month subscription. So I, I went and I did it before the price increase because I wanted to take advantage of getting it at a cheaper rate at three months. So I haven't really felt the crunch yet. I may probably just renew for another three months. Who knows, maybe a year. Let's see how December, I'm getting boxy Lux in December and hopefully maybe I'll be on the premium. I'll decide, do I wanna just do premium? Do I wanna do Lux? Or am I just out of here if I'm done with boxy charm again? So anyway, there it is, you guys. Um, down below in the comments, let me know what you think of this box. Did you get a variation similar to this, different than this? What do you think? Are you someone who is going to subscribe? You unsubscribe? You know what, you know the deal, guys. This is makeup hues and views. So I want to hear your views. What are your what is your opinion and your viewpoint of the November 2019 Boxy Charm and the whole 2.0 experience? As always, you guys, I appreciate you for watching. If you could do one more thing for me, if you could help me out, if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know why you're here still and 
seems to be working out between the two of us. You're hanging on. I'm, I'm talking. You're listening. Seems to be a good vibe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you could help me out by rating my video, you have two choices. First choice is you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you think I could have done better because you weren't too crazy about it. Either way, regardless, you're helping me out and I appreciate that. So as always, as I like to say to you guys, I hope you have a great day, a great week, great month, great year, great. Is this eyelash falling off? <laughs> I told you guys I'm still learning. So I <laughs> a great day, great week, great month, great year, great life. Thanks for watching. Bye.